The origin of the Enderman is obscured and shadowed by mystery. But one mob reveals everything. A mob that overshadows the Warden in power. One that might be coming to Minecraft very soon. If you enjoy the video, consider subscribing. In one of my previous videos, I talked about what could be in the end update, hoping for it to be 1.20. After a while, people have made some good points and have given me an idea on a major lore element to the Enderman. You should watch that video first if you want a bit more background information on this. So, if Mojang adds the Ender Scent, they would heavily affect the world, like removing the eyes of Ender from the portal and living in hidden areas of the overworld, corrupting their hideout with void matter. Ender Scent seem to have better magic capabilities than the average Enderman or any Enderling. They can teleport other mobs to you and drive you away, and to protect themselves from incoming attacks. They also seem to be able to infect water and land with void matter. It's very possible that the Ender Scent found the ancient builders within the ancient city. As they drew closer, they attempted to activate a new portal, releasing the Warden, but it didn't last for long. The Ender Scent reached them and captured them bringing them to the end, then corrupting them, turning them into Endermen. You can even hear the complete and utter fear in the person that's recording disc 5 as they breathe out. Endermen must be saying stuff like, Hey, what's up? And look for the eye to grab your attention. Also, you can start journeying to free them from the end and the grasp of the end ascent. Even in Minecraft Dungeons, we can hear this Enderman saying to the beginning before leaping in and summoning the end ascent, indicating that the end ascent started their journey as the Enderman. Sadly, they don't change after you get the Free the End advancement, meaning that they might be stuck like this forever. Silverfish that fell into the End could have found Void Matter, being corrupted through that, turning them into Endermites. The official mob bestiary published by Mojang depicts a small group of surviving humans studying the world around them, even dissecting a few mobs. Such depicts the inner workings of Iron Golems, Ghasts, and the circuit-like innards of Guardians. One of these shows an Enderman with the head and body opened. The organs seem to be the same as a normal human, but they have an extra stomach-like organ, possibly to hold chorus fruit juice to give the ability to teleport, storing the teleporting ability for later use. The main point is the head. The brain seems to have some sort of purple growth implanted in the middle of the brain, showing a possible way that the Enderscent keep control over the Enderman. But the most obvious part of all, the teeth. The teeth do not line up with the Enderman's actual fangs. They didn't evolve over time into Enderman once getting stuck. If they did, their facial structure would line up. All of the structures they had made in the past wouldn't be standing anymore, as everything erodes and decays over time. The time for things to evolve, paired with structural erosion over time, just wouldn't line up. The Endersense saw their ability to create and build as useful, putting them under their control to possibly build structures for them, now as their personal builders. Some people say they became trapped when trying to venture to the end. It's possible that some open the portal and began slaying dragons, while the rest that are hiding in ancient cities are turned into slaves for the Enderscent. Even the Heart of Ender, which is defeated in Minecraft dungeons, is comprised of this powerful magic that Enderscent possess. After the Orb of Dominance was shattered, the thing that could control all hostile mobs and their properties, something that can literally control the fabric of reality, little shards found their way to different corners of the world, giving immense power to many entities, breathing life into the Tempest Golem, infecting and creating the Ancient Guardian, spreading magic-based vine creatures and such across the jungle, alongside creating the Jungle Abomination, and creating the Wretched Wraith. This malignant power is infectious. Opening the End Portal might spell doom for your world. As the final Ender Dragon is about to be hunted, the Ender Scent order their newfound army to construct pillars to keep the Endling of its species alive. As well as separating the Outer Islands from the Dragon's Island, multiple Endermen are stationed on the island to attack intruders that might endanger the Dragon. Maybe the Dragon has something to do with their powers. Watchlings are most probably in the same vein as the Endermen. Even though they're more misshapen and have different attributes, they seem to possibly be the End's version of zombies or void corrupted zombies, as indicated through their idle sound effects. <laughs> Watchlings mostly attack directly, teleporting away if they feel they're losing a fight to gain some ground or teleporting straight to the target. Snailings have a similar ability of web slinging to spiders in dungeons. They host a large egg sac like growth on their back, which helps generate and propel a neon green web out of their chest cavity, ensnaring victims before an ambush. Their arms are disproportionately long compared to their legs, evolving to drag their arms across the ground behind them, as having that thin arms wouldn't provide enough muscle mass to lift them properly. Blastlings are ranged 
ranged. Being able to shoot purple fire- purple? Pepper? Being able to shoot purple firelight projectiles from the tips of their large arms. They're covered in purple spots and sport a beautiful mane of purple fire emitting from their neck. Their legs seem extremely skinny compared to the size of their massive arms, where the purple spots glow brighter and become more frequent. Even the Enderson has longer arms, with bends and large club-like hands that they use for smashing. Even though they're the strongest out of all the Enderlings, they still seem to be slightly disproportionate. The only proportionately sized inhabitants of the End seem to be the Endermen, which is more evidence of how they could be converted humans. The Shulkers are said to have a man-made shell, which could indicate that they were created, probably not by a human, but through the power of an Enderson, with the construction help of the Endermen. Maybe you could use the Endersense corruption to your advantage, using the void to corrupt items or weapons of choice, maybe even corrupting your netherite armor for better stats. The corrupted beacon could be added in the game from Minecraft Dungeons, giving another use for the beacon and taking down the wither on top of a new weapon. Speaking of, a lot of people think that the wither's defeat sound is at the end of disc 5. I say otherwise. <laughs> The sound is the disc warping, as it's been smashed and shattered right after being recorded. One warden can't take out a wither on its own. A wither wouldn't even be able to get down to that level in the first place. They usually hover above their prey and remain stationary without breaking blocks if unattended. The Enderscent create a large shockwave when they smash the ground. Being that their idle sound is at the start of disc 5, it's safe to say it probably smashed the disc in a fight with the Warden, as it would have had to melee to attack it. The only reason the Wither wins is that it can regenerate health, fly, and shoot explosives. All the Enderscent have is their smash attack. The society would live in the ancient city, so the Enderscent wouldn't go near them, easily being too scared of the Warden to go near. As a form of codependence, the residents keep the skulk growing by sacrificing living creatures to it, in turn, protecting them from the Enderscent. This is only early on. I believe only a small amount of Enderscent or one Enderscent wouldn't stand a chance against the Warden. But with a group of Enderscent and Enderlings invading at once, they'd prove even the Warden is mortal. The sad thing is that whether the Enderscent got to them by learning not to make sounds and vibrations or the Skulk consumed them all through the Warden, they're all gone now. Regardless, now that you've slain the final dragon within the end, you've made a whole new swarm of enemies. Hope getting that last dragon egg was worth it. Thank you for- take down this thing as a team if we work together. No, I'm not going back there. You saw what that thing did to the others. We have no choice. The Warden's gonna keep taking every one of our people that makes the slightest sound. It's them or us. I can live with the Warden. It literally can't see us, let alone teleport. You are not making me go near those things again. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate if you considered subscribing. If you enjoy these theory videos, let me know by liking and commenting below. I will be making videos on Minecraft Live since that's happening soon. Maybe streaming my reaction on my extras channel. So go sub to that channel too. Once again, thank you for watching and have a good day or night.